This video will reveal seven unmistakable signs that we are living at the time of the end. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Dustin with Hope Through Prophecy. On this channel, we help you to better understand Bible prophecy and be prepared for the soon return of Jesus. Before we reveal these seven end time signs, I want to first introduce you to my good friend Cami Utman, who will be joining me on today's video. Cami has a powerful new YouTube channel that I hope you will subscribe to. Cami, can you tell us more about your channel? Thank you, Dustin. I'm excited to be here with you. My channel, Unlocking Bible Prophecies, is a Christian channel, like Dustin's, that is dedicated to sharing pure, straightforward Bible truths, including end-time prophecies with real-life illustrations. A portion of my work is to travel the world creating short documentary films of God's miracles and transformations in people's lives today. Subscribe to my channel by clicking on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen or the link in the video description. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to Dustin's channel as well. Thank you, Cami. Now let's jump right in. Sign number one, pestilences, pandemic, and sickness. In Matthew 24, Jesus gives the disciples several signs that would reveal when the end of the world is near. In verse seven we read, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. What is pestilence? Merriam-Webster defines it as a contagious or infectious epidemic disease that is virulent and devastating. Sickness was never God's plan. He created this world faultless, and mankind was created to live forever in perfect health. However, because of the entrance of sin, sickness has ravaged our planet. The current pandemic our world is facing is causing unrest, pain, and upheaval across the globe and has reportedly claimed over 800,000 lives worldwide. As we are all well aware, this disease has dramatically affected our lifestyles. It is also reported that the chronic disease burden is increasing across the world rapidly. Only the return of Jesus can completely bring an end to the disease in this sin-sick world and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Sign number two, wars and rumors of wars. In Matthew 24, six and seven, Jesus warned his disciples that a sign of his soon return would be wars and rumors of wars, and that nation will rise against nation. The first war ever recorded took place in heaven when Lucifer fought for supremacy and was expelled from God's presence. Since then, all wars have carried the same selfish spirit of Lucifer himself, a spirit contrary to the love and generosity of heaven. Right now, there are more than 40 active armed conflicts around the world. And while technology has improved our lives and brought us closer together, it has also increased the friction between political powers. Satan knows his time is running out. 1 Peter 5.8 tells us that the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Jesus predicted this would happen in Luke 21.26. Men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Yes. Jesus said there would be distress and wars in the world, but he also said, see that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Sign number three, earthquakes. According to the Bible, earthquakes would rock this world in the final days, and there will be earthquakes in various places. This video from EQ Forecaster vividly displays the dramatic increase in earthquakes during the 100-year period from 1901 to the year 2000. As you can see, seismic activity begins to skyrocket around the midpoint of the century, increasing in intensity as the years progress. Friends, this earth is just a ticking time bomb, and the greatest earthquake in human history is soon to come. And there were noises and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake such a mighty and great earthquake 
as has not occurred since men were on the earth. This quake will take place at the second coming of Jesus. Our Savior will burst through the clouds with claps of roaring thunder, accompanied by all His mighty angels. Let us be prepared. Let us be ready for that great day. Sign number four, famines. Jesus continued saying, there will be famines in various places. According to the World Food Program, at the end of 2019, 135 million people were living with acute hunger, and 800 million suffer from chronic hunger, including 16 million children right here in America. And this is before the pandemic began. The numbers are staggering. More than 5 million children die from hunger and malnutrition every year. That means 15,000 sons and daughters die today from hunger. In the last 100 years, the global population has quadrupled, even as the global demand for food grows. Global warming and climate change are also directly impacting food security and the agroecosystems. The farmable land has shrunk by one-third in just the last 40 years. You add any other variable, like a natural disaster, and the effect is compounded. And then you have the oceans. There are entire countries that depend on them for food. But rising temperatures and pollution are destroying marine life. Our world is rapidly heading for disaster. Jesus predicted this would happen. In Luke 21, 28, he instructs us, now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. Sign number five, false teachers. The Bible warns, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. Friends, this time is here. False teaching, referred to in the Bible as the wine of Babylon, is rampant in today's world. Deception such as spiritualism, which teaches that the soul continues to live on after death, and the sanctity of Sunday instead of the Bible Sabbath, are examples of dangerous errors that are preparing the world for the final test, the mark of the beast. For more information on this life-changing topic, just click on the link above. So, how can we be protected against these deadly end-time deceptions? There is only one way. To the law and to the testimony. If they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. This verse reveals to us that knowledge of the Bible, given to us by the Holy Spirit as we study, is the only thing that can separate the truth from the lies. And that is the mission of both Hope Through Prophecy and Cami's channel, Unlocking Bible Prophecies, to help you know the truth so that you can be prepared. Sign number six, hearts will grow cold. Jesus warned us in Matthew 24, 12, that because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. It is true that we live in an age of self-gratification. Self-sacrifice has taken a back seat because self is now king. Again, this takes us to the very beginning. It's the same spirit of Lucifer. Ezekiel 28, 17 says about him, Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. The first lie to our parents in the Garden of Eden was you will not surely die. You will be like God. Self is more important than others, more important than obeying God. We can see it today. People are less willing to sacrifice for others, wanting their own way, lovers of self. But all these are symptoms of the real problem. The hearts of men have grown cold toward God, and while many have a form of religion, they deny its effect in their lives. That is why Jesus said in Matthew 24, 13, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. Friends, those who keep the flame of love for God in their heart and do not allow it to grow cold will receive eternal salvation. And finally, sign number seven, 
the gospel to the world. Jesus shares the final sign in Matthew 24, 14, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. In my travels, documenting miracles in the most remote corners of this world, I have witnessed with my own eyes how God is reaching the unreachable. Come with me to the Philippine Islands. There is a group of terrorist rebels that hide throughout the mountaintops. For the past 51 years, the New People's Army have been dominating these areas with guerrilla warfare. Over 40,000 locals have died. But as of yesterday, God's truth has quickly spread to 255 villages with over 10,000 baptisms. Amen? These terrorists have laid down their AK-47 guns in exchange for a Bible and a new life in Christ. People are choosing Jesus all over this world, like 18,000 being baptized in Lusaka, Zambia, and an unprecedented 108,000 in Rwanda. And millions are embracing God's final message to the world. I can see firsthand how God is fulfilling Matthew 24. Friends, it is happening right now. Amen, Cammie. And that gospel that would go to the world is described in the Bible's climactic book, Revelation. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people. Even as we speak, this three angels' message, God's final warning to the world, is being spread like wildfire across the globe. God is even using YouTube to share this message with every tribe, tongue, and people. Millions are learning the truths from God's Word and deepening their relationship with Jesus. Jesus is coming soon. We are seeing the signs. Scientists agree that at the rate we are going, our Earth doesn't have a chance to survive much longer. And that is why Jesus said at the close of Matthew 24, if those days are not cut short, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. Thankfully, we know how things will end, and it won't be by global warming. But God has given us a message, a global warning. Friends, we must understand the signs of the times we live in and be ready to meet King Jesus at His soon coming. Dear friend, Jesus is coming soon. The signs are being fulfilled all around us. Let us not be asleep. Let us be wide awake, preparing for that great day. Let us surrender ourselves fully to Jesus today, allowing Him to remove anything from our lives that does not please Him. If this is your desire, and you believe that the return of Jesus is soon, even at the doors, just write in the comment section below, Jesus is coming soon. Praise God. If you would like to see others blessed by this video, please like and share it now. I hope to see you soon, friends. If not on this earth, then standing next to each other on heaven's sea of glass. Until then, keep, keep your, your eyes, eyes on, on Jesus, Jesus the, the author and finisher of our faith. faith.